Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited and ready to chit chat with you about so many good things this week. I just had a great week. Um, lots of fun things, new things that I bought, some things I've been playing with. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right on into this. Welcome if you are new. I am so glad to have you here. If you just stopped by, this is your first video, maybe this is your fifth video and you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you here on board and that way you won't miss any of my craziness and any of my favorites and any of my who knows whatever. So I always start off with my favorite wines and I say wines this week because I actually have two. Um, my husband bought a, glass, a bottle of wine and then he decided it was really good so he drank most of it. But the first one is called Starborough and this is from New Zealand and it's a Sauvignon. I can never say that right. Sauvignon Blanc. It's a white wine. It tastes really good. It's really crisp. It's really uh, citrusy. Um, yeah, it's really good. I usually don't pay more than like $15 for a bottle of wine. So all of my recommendations are always under $15. I think this one was around 10 ish. So anyways, beautiful bottle for summer too. It has like a little starfish on it. Just a great, like, it just says summer to me, like a crisp, white, citrusy, fresh wine, refreshing wine. Yummy. Um, and then the other one I picked out, he, he bought me that one. And, um, this one I picked out and oh my gosh, this is probably one of my favorite reds that I've tried in a long time. Um, this is the Miracel, um, wine, and it's the Sunset Red. It's a blend of something. Let's see. It's a Pinot Noir-based red blend with dark fruit flavors of black cherry and notes of brown sugar. It is so yummy. So yummy. Um, yeah. Miracel Sunset Red. If, you, if you're into red wines, try this one. I think you would enjoy it. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is this cute necklace I picked up. So my friend Mallory had posted on Instagram um, some cute little bracelets that she picked up from this uh, lady who makes, she makes this, hand makes this jewelry um, on, she has her own Etsy shop on Etsy, and her company is called Neutrals Inc. I saved the cute little box that it comes in. So this is what it came in, just this cute little package, and this is the necklace. It, this is a sterling silver necklace. It also comes in gold. I opted for the sterling silver because my most of my rings that I wear, um, including my wedding ring, are white gold, and so I thought, well, and my watch is, is silver here too, so I thought I'd just... I wanted a simple necklace that I could wear all the time. I could layer it with things. I could wear it with a t-shirt. I could wear it with this cute little dress that I'm wearing today. Um, and so I will link her um, Instagram and her shop below. But isn't this just precious? I think it has this long dangly piece. It's pretty long too. So if you wanted to wear a lower cut dress or just a v-neck t-shirt, it's kind of got that little peekaboo thing and I just kind of tuck it in like that. But I just love dainty pieces and I love pieces that you can layer and I love simple things that you know if you want to wear it with something else you could or just on its own I just I love it I absolutely love it so um yeah I will leave all of her information below so you can if you're interested she also has like I want to go back she has the cutest little dainty bracelets and that's what Mallory wears and um but I got distracted I was going there to buy the bracelets and then I saw this necklace and I'm like nope I'm getting that necklace I absolutely love it so her name, I forget what her first name is. Oh, I should have, she had a little handwritten note in here and it was so cute. Um, Neutrals Inc. though is the, um, her shop name. So in the world of makeup, I have a ton of favorites this week. First favorite though is this nail polish. And this is the China Glaze Don't Mesa With My Heart. I'll insert a picture of me wearing this because this color is part of their summer collection. And I love it. I love it. It's like such a great pink. It's not too bright. It's not too dull. It's just a great middle of the road pink and I think it's going to look good on everybody. So I think you really need this color, truly. I mean, I have a lot of pinks, um, but this one is so flattering on. It was a great formula. I like China Glaze's nail polishes, so this color, I don't know, I really am smitten by it. And the other color I'm smitten by is the color I'm wearing on my nails right now. And this is Essie's um, Go Ginza. Ginza? Ginza? I don't know. It's just a really soft breath of lavender type of color. Um, it is a cream formula. Um, I think I did two coats. Now my nails, ugh, polish. My nail polishing abilities aren't, um, you know, like pro. Um, so, but you get the gist. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Just a soft, whimsical, light lavender shade. Another color I'm really smitten with. So, 
I would say out of all the nail recommendations I've given you in the past like three, four months, I really am smitten with these two. So these are really up there. So and the, both of them had decent formulas too, and that matters to me, you know. And and, and longevity and how long it wears. This this China Glaze wore well. This one I've only had on for two days, so I can't tell you, but it still looks good. It's been two days, so those are my nail polish favorites. Every time I hit record on this thing. I feel like suddenly my body goes into menopause. Like I start getting hot flashes, I'm like sweating. Like I'm, I feel like menopause happens as soon as you hit record. It's ridiculous. All right, next let's go into some face favorites. So this week I had about 10 minutes to get ready for church and I wasn't gonna wear any makeup. I was just gonna brave it. I self tanned and when I self tan my face, like I just feel like, I, I don't know what it is, but when your face is tan, I feel like I can go without makeup and it's okay because you just have like that glow, you have a little color to your skin, you don't look like all like, you know, like white and pale and whatever. Um, so I was like, okay, I have 10 minutes to get ready. What am I going to do? So I knew exactly what I was going to grab for and I grabbed my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten foundation. It's a powder foundation. I literally just quickly buffed this onto my face, filled in my eyebrows, curled my lashes, no mascara, threw on a cream shadow and uh, a lip product that I'm going to show you and that was it. That is all I did. I was like, okay, at least my skin color will be evened out. This will get rid of any zits and blemishes and whatever and we'll be good. Um, I love this stuff. I don't often use it just on its own unless I'm in a hurry. I like to use it as a setting powder because it gives my face super, like a super flawless look. I get a lot of coverage out of it. Um, I really, really like this product. I'm in the shade medium right now it's actually a little bit light when I'm self tanned um but these are pretty forgiving so it's not like medium is only for like they're really forgiving and the more you buff it on and put more on then the darker you'll get like one light application of this you're not gonna have like super dark um you know powder all over your face so it's a great foundation on its own but it's also great as a topper so I just don't think I'll ever be without this product because it's just a go-to for me Another face product that I've been absolutely loving, and it is the blush I'm wearing today. It's Max Blush. It's a sheer tone shimmer blush in the shade Sun Basque. That is way too many S's, looks like. So this is a beautiful blush on the skin. So it has a little bit of a, she like a sheen to it, not like chunky glitter, but a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's really just glowy. It is like the most beautiful summer blush. Um, it has a little bit of... Like when I put it on my face, I can see just like peach, I can see a little bit of golden, and I see a hint, a hint of like rosiness or something to it. But you can see the sheen on that. It just, it's beautiful. It's like, for me, one of my favorite summer blushes for sure, because it has just enough warmth in it that it pairs well with like a darker lip, but you can totally wear it with a nude lip. You can wear it with no lipstick and it's going to give your skin some dimension and some color. I, I love it. I really love it. I bought this with the intentions of wearing it this summer and I'm, I'm really glad that I bought it. I think you would enjoy it as well. It is just absolutely stunning on the skin. So on my eyes this week, I dug deep into my palette collection and I'm like, what have I not used in a really long time or hardly ever? And so I dug out my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette and that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And this is actually the second time I wore this look this week. I just, I love it. I love how inexpensive this palette is. I think this palette's like less than $20 for sure. Maybe like 15, I don't know. I did not pay more than $15, I don't think, for it. Um, but this is what it looks like. They're all shimmery. So I did uh, use a couple matte shades in my crease for my MAC palette. But these are all shimmery. But my gosh, they stay on. They blend really well. Um, it's inexpensive. You can see my sun kind of got into this one a little bit. So we're missing a few chunks out of a few shades here. But I'm primarily wearing all these warm shades. And that's the fun thing about this palette is that you can mix and match them and they all kind of go together. So... Earlier in the week, I did like a warm eye and then I did a pop of cool. I think I did like Uranus or Meteor or Comet in kind of like my inner corner here instead of like uh, a cream shade like I did today. But they're so pretty. Let me just give you a few swatches here. They're so pretty. They're easy to work with and this palette is incredibly inexpensive. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful summer palette to own because the shade, the warm shades in here mixed with the cool shades. I'm essentially, I'm not wearing that orange color, but I'm wearing these types of colors today. 
I just feel like they're so summery and beautiful. So I think if, oh, you got to see this one. Cosmic is one of my favorites and so is Milky Way. Those like cool toned lavender shades. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. So I think this palette is great. I really love it and I think you need it because, I mean, it's inexpensive and there's so many pretty ones. They're all baked eyeshadows too, so that's they're just kind of like shimmery, easy to work with shadows. Is it just me or do you feel like anything Jaclyn Hill mentions, you feel obligated to own it because she's so good at makeup, you really respect her taste and how, like, I don't know, I respect her. I think she's fabulous, she is so good at makeup and... Her latest tutorial, she had talked about this brush that she, she was using it too. It's the Morphe E22 brush. And so I saw her using it and she was saying how much she really liked it for smoky eyes and for blending things out. And I'm like, well, then I guess I need it. Um, I think it was only, it was less than $10 for sure. Um, I only own one other Morphe brush and I'm not, it's the one that she uses all the time for highlighting. It's the M501. The quality on this one is okay but it's not like this one so um, this brush is it's it's denser it's thicker but it's kind of like a dual fiber brush but thick and dense um, anyways uh, this is the brush I had been using this week with this palette to kind of blend things out it's really soft I like it it is like a thicker brush so I was just kind of using it out here in my outer V just to really softly blend things and I think it's nice I do like it it is really soft and it got the job done. So, yeah, check out this brush. I mean, Jacqueline loved it, so it must be fabulous, right? All right, I got lots of lip favorites. Are you surprised? Probably not. So, first off, I had recently purchased this um, Unique. Thank you for telling me how to how to say it. I was I was butchering it. Unique Moodstruck Precision Pencil Lip Liner in the shade Pouty. I love this color. I love it. For me, it's like literally the color of my lips. So it works so well with lots of things for that reason. So here's what it looks like. I'm wearing this today. Um, it's just, and it lasts. That's the thing. It lasts. So like I have a bunch of lip liners and not all of them are my, my favorite formulas. Like I bought like different brands just to try out the formula and some last longer than others. And the ones that hardly last for <laughs> more than like three drinks out of your drink, um, I feel like, what's the point? Why, why, why do I have it? Because if it's not going to last, then yeah. But anyways, I really like the formula on this. It lasts nicely on the lips, and the color of it is just beautiful. Um, but what I'm wearing today and what I'm really, really impressed with overall is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And I'm sure you're going to hear a million and a half people talk about them. And sometimes people talk about a product, and it really is really good. And other times people talk about a product because, well, they're either getting commission for it or, you know, it's, they're told they need to talk about it or whatever. Uh, but I really like these, truly. I would definitely recommend these three shades in particular. Um, I bought five, and if you missed that haul, um, I will link that below. That went up on Tuesday. But I bought five, and these three are my favorites. Really, truly my favorites. I think, like, out of all the colors that came out, I bought what I thought was some of the more unique ones and ones I would really enjoy, but I really enjoy these colors. The color I'm wearing today is called Bumble. It's gorgeous. I actually couldn't decide which color to wear today. Either any of these would have went well because they're all kind of that same color family. But today I'm wearing Bumble, which is this one. It is just beautiful. One thing, store them up like this, or yes, they will leak. Um, definitely store them upright. Um, the the shade Tool, I do have a picture on my Instagram of me wearing this. It's it's a lot darker than this. Um, well, not a ton darker, just a few shades darker than Bumble. And then Solo is this absolutely gorgeous wearable pink. And I say wearable because I feel like a lot of people can wear this. It's not too bright. I'll swatch this one for you. Um, it's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's just a really pretty almost like a nude pink. See this one in particular, see how it's leaking? Yeah, this one in particular keeps leaking. So definitely store these upright or you could, you know, have a mess all over your jaw or whatever. But um, they dry pretty quick. Like you don't have to wait a minute or anything. Probably like, I don't know, 30 or 45 seconds and they dry, which is nice. I mean, you don't want to be waiting around forever, but they're so low. It's gorgeous. Ugh. So I don't know if these are back in stock yet, but they are a permanent item. So if they're not, don't worry, don't fret. You'll eventually be able to get their ha your hands on them, and you'll be able to buy, I mean, if you only have 20 bucks to spend, they're only $6 a piece, so you definitely will be able to try a few shades. So 
I'm really enjoying them. The last thing that is one of my favorites for many reasons, um, this is the Tom Ford Lip Color Shine in the shade Bare. This is my one and only Tom Ford lipstick. This is one of the shine formulas, so it's more of like a sheer throw on your lips and go type of color. But the reason I love this one is because it's so easy. This is the color I wore on Sunday when I had, you know, like 10 minutes to do everything. Um, and I didn't want to do anything crazy because I have two kids at my feet. They're starting to get into my makeup. I'm trying to get ready to go. Like, I was just grabbing for things that I know were easy. This is a lip color that is so sexy. It's so easy to wear. It goes with anything because all it really does is give your lips a little bit of color and a lot of shine. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating, very comfortable on the lips. It's really sexy. This is a great beach color. Like you don't want a high maintenance anything. Maybe you don't even want to have a lot of color. This is a great, it's going to cover your lips, make them look full and shiny and give them like that pouty look but without a lot of color. So these are spendy, but this color is very unique, I think. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And so this is a very special lip to me, lipstick to me. This, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by and chit-chatting with me today. I am so just blessed and thankful to have the support of all of you guys. You just always make me smile. You always make me feel good. You guys are just absolutely fabulous. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention was I do have Snapchat. I'm not on it all the time. I'm not on it all day long, like updating you guys what I'm doing. But um, if you would like to follow me, um, my information is below. I think my username is Chelsea underscore Gary. I'll do it from time to time when I remember to do it. Like I don't want to get so consumed with social media that I forget about my family and, and stuff like that. But I do have fun with it when I do remember to use it. <laughs> I try to get on there at least once a day, but there may be a few days where I'm not. So don't think that you're going to get the play-by-play -play of everything Chelsea does in a day. You, you, It's boring. You really don't care to know, trust me. <laughs> but anyways, feel free to follow me. I would love to, who knows, follow me and maybe I'll start getting on there more if I get a bunch of subscribers and I'll feel like, okay, I need to update them on what I'm doing right now. So anyways, enough blabbing about that. Um, tomorrow's Chit Chatter Day is going to be a haul. I've been doing some shopping and yeah, I know. Sorry there's so many hauls lately. I just, I don't know. I've just been feeling like shopping. You know, sometimes you get that itch and you just need to scratch. And then you need to stop scratching for a while. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll chit-chat with you soon.